So black, white starts off with e4, black plays e5, white plays knight to f3, bishop to c4, I'm sorry, excuse me, knight to f6 protects the pawn. We talked about not moving the what? The f-pawn. Never move the f-pawn, right? So knight to c6 is actually the best way to protect this pawn here. White plays bishop c4, attacking the what? The f-pawn. The f-pawn. Black does the same thing. He's also bringing out a piece attacking the f-pawn, right? Now, I told you white wants to play pawn to d4, but there's a problem with this move. There are three pieces attacking that pawn. Anybody can name all three? Shalit. Um, all three is the pawn on the pawn pawn here. Um, so the horse here uh -huh. and the bishop. All right. So right now, that moving the pawn to d4 doesn't work. So white plays a, a preparation. He plays pawn to c3. He prepares the move d4. Now you're going to have a little bit of extra help. But black plays a little bit of a trap. Watch this. Queen to e7. Now, we said that white wanted to play d4, but we said black set a trap. Raise your hand if you want to see the trap. All right, Chris. Let's say white plays d4 anyway. What black is going to do is black's going to take the pawn, white's going to take back with their pawn, and now that my queen is on the e file, what is my queen able to do? Anybody can see it? Take the trap. Check. Not checkmate. Check, check, check. Um, take the pawn and put the king in check. Yes, take the pawn and put the king in check. You see that? And now, after you block the check, let's say you block with the bishop or you block with this bishop to get out of danger. It doesn't matter how you block the check or how you get out of check. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna save my bishop next, and I was able to capture two pawns for the price of what? One. One. So that's how the trap works. Do so you think that white fell for that trap? Yes. Ah, nah, they don't fall for that trap. They're both masters, remember, they're both masters. So, after queen to e7, white doesn't play d4. White sets a trap of his own. Might as well watch this. After castling, white sets a trap of his own. Now, we said white wants to play d4 next. Let's say that black plays a nothing move or a trash can move. Sean, let's say black plays something like that. Not really caring about what's happening on the chessboard, right? White's going to play d4. Black's going to take the pawn, white's going to take back, and taking this pawn is not as powerful anymore because it doesn't come with what? It doesn't come with check. But not only that, but now your bishop is in danger, but black has a plan for that. If you take my bishop, I'll take your what? Bishop. bishop. But do you think that was white's trap? No. 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 This is an open file. That's the name of my company, the open file. What piece loves open files? Jasmine? Jasmine? What piece loves an open file? It moves up, down, side to side. The rook. So, this is an open file. Rook to e1 is a very powerful move. Take a look at that move. You're attacking the queen, but more importantly, you're not able to save the queen. If you try to move the queen out of danger, who are you putting in danger? The king. The king. Absolutely. So you're not able to move the queen out of danger. Even if you back the queen up to protect the king closer somehow, if you think that makes sense, I'm still going to take your queen and I'm eliminating your most powerful what? Pawn. Pawn. Not pawn. Asset. I'm, I'm eliminating your most powerful asset or? Peace. Peace, right? So do you think black fell for that trap? Yes. <laughs> you think black falls for everything, right, Chris? <laughs> no, he doesn't, he doesn't fall for that trap. Let me show you what happens instead. After black castles, right? I'm sorry, after white castles, black just plays pawn to d6. After pawn to d6, white still plays d4. Black doesn't take the pawn, because by taking the pawn, he's leaving what part of the board? Who remembers what we call that? The center one. The center, and the center is very important. So back, Black backs up his bishop, because his bishop was in danger. White plays a very funny looking move. He attacks the bishop indirectly. He moves the pawn to a4, and his plan is to come to a5 and trap the bishop. So Black pushes the pawn forward. The bishop backs, I'm sorry, black pushes the pawn forward, the pawn comes again, the bishop backs up. Taking the bishop would be a very bad idea. If, I mean, taking the pawn would be a very bad idea. If you take this pawn, I'm not going to take with my rook right away. Why am I not going to take with my rook right away? Who's protecting the bishop? Shalit? Um, the knight. 
The knight is protecting the bishop, right? Move your stupid knight out of the way now. I'm going to attack your knight first, Chris. And when your knight runs away to home, wherever it decides to run away, now I can take your bishop for what? For free. If your bishop, if your knight moves away, it's no longer protecting the bishop. Now I can slide in and take your bishop. So do you think black wants that to happen? No, he backs the bishop up. He doesn't take the pawn. He doesn't fall for that ugly trap. Now white plays a very funny looking motion, but watch this. He plays pawn to h3. I told you these kind of moves on the side of the board is what I call trash can moves. But raise your hand if you're familiar with exponents. I hope that everybody's familiar with exponents since high school, right? This is trash can to the trash can power. <laughs> Let me show you why, all right? The reason that we call this trash can to the trash can power is because it's not just a trash can. It's worse than a trash can move. Because a regular move on the side of the board is bad. A, a, a move on the side of the board where your king is living, where your king is supposed to be protected, is even worse. The king is castled in this position by a pawn moving forward it does so many different things. It creates a weakness in your territory. Think about it like this. It's a war going on outside. Your king is in the side of this castle. Is there a time to crack a window right now? Yeah. No. Should you be leaving any doors unlocked? No. no. Should you be making any kind of waves for somebody else to sneak in? No. Nope. Not at all, right? So pawn to h3 creates a weakness in the king's position. Oh, on top of that, it creates a target. Maybe this bishop could sacrifice, remember that, maybe this bishop could sacrifice at a later time to destroy the castle position. It's a lot of different things that, that happen. So after pawn to h3, black plays knight to f6, and now white plays a very funny looking move. He plays pawn takes pawn. Now I want to ask you guys a serious question. And this position is very important. Who has more soldiers fighting? Does black have more soldiers fighting or does white have more soldiers fighting? Remember the difference between sleeping and fighting. Raise your hand. Black. Black. You say everybody says black? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you another question. White has white more. I want, wait, wait. I want to ask you another question first. How many soldiers does black have fighting and how many soldiers does white have fighting? Raise your hand when you have your answer. Black only. Raise your hand when you have your answer, not before. Shaniqua? Black has four soldiers fighting and white has about six sleeping. Six. How many does he have fighting? How many does white have fighting? Ten. Ten? Ooh. That Ten soldiers spend. fighting? I think Ten. so. For yeah. Seven? I have a lot of different Two. answers. Two. No, that's seven. Two. 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 One and two, Jasmine. Take a look, Jasmine. These two pieces are the only pieces that White has currently fighting. Remember, when a piece leaves its its, its starting position, I mean I guess some people count like when the king is castled as another developing move, which could be a good argument. But in this position, I want you to really pay attention to the pieces that are out in the middle of the board already for fighting right, right now, which are the bishop and the knight. But black, on the other hand, moves to put the rook back. Black, on the other hand, has four pieces fighting. One, two, three, four. Watch this, Shalit. You Should I take back with the pawn, queen, or knight? They just took my pawn. Should I take with the pawn, knight, or queen? You say pawn. You say knight. Pawn. You say pawn. 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 Knight. Pawn. Because, because that's the least amount and this will be able to take that. Okay, let me explain to you something. This is what you never want, alright? Whenever you have less soldiers on your team fighting, you don't want to go to war. It's like going out to, to, to a party with a friend. Me and Shalit go to a party. It's just me and Shalit. And it's 20 people uh, at this party that are all together, they're friends. And I go out there and I just start problems with them, right? I'm like, ah, oh, come on, I want to fight. I want to start a fight. It's just me and Shalit. And how many of them is it? 20, 20. It's about 20 of them, right? Is that a good idea? No. 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 Whenever you have less people on your team ready to fight, don't start problems. Don't start attacking people. Don't try to make complications. Keep it simple and safe. By taking this pawn, 
You're starting problems for me. So Black is saying, I have more soldiers out than you right now. If anybody's going to benefit from it being complicated, it's going to be me. I'm not going to take with my pawn and keep it safe. I'm going to take it with a knight and see what you do. Now I'm attacking your bishop. I'm attacking your knight. you got decisions to make. And right away, it's complicated because you have decisions to make. I'm going to benefit more. If anybody's going to win this battle, it's going to be me because I have more soldiers out. You can save your bishop, back up your bishop, or you can take my knight. Or you can protect your bishop and waste moves. White decides to take the knight. Black takes back with the queen. White would love to push the pawn to attack the queen. Unfortunately, there's a sniper aiming right at the king. Now, before we go, I want to say something about this knight that just left this position. This knight is called the bodyguard. Everybody say the bodyguard. bodyguard. The bodyguard. When this knight is here, it protects this square, this square, and this square. I'll show you three squares again. Here, here, and here. <coughs> this is, and it also protects this square. Hmm. This bodyguard is very, very important, but it's not there anymore. <coughs> so White wants to bring another bodyguard out. He plays knight to d2, and his plan is to bring the bodyguard to this square. He wants to hire a new bodyguard to protect the king. Black says, I'm not going to let that happen. I have two bishops. This bishop aiming at the king. This bishop aiming at the king. I have a knight ready to hop in. I have a queen ready to hop in. There's no bodyguard here. You have a weakness here. If there was any other time to start an attack, it would be right now. Can anybody guess the crazy move that Black decided to play here? Bishop what? Bishop to take, um, uh, what is that? Um, HD. Excellent. First, check, first guess, too. Bishop takes H3. Crazy looking move. It's called a sacrifice. Because you're giving up more for less. Or are we getting less? Let's take a look. After white takes the bishop, there's something that happened to white's position. Take a look at white's position. Oh, you have Left him with an open file to the king, put an inch check. We got a lot of openings that lead to the king now. After you took my bishop, check. What should white do? White's in danger. You can't move out of check. What should too. white do? Kill the queen. Kill the what? Ah, I like that idea. Kill the queen. Unfortunately, you can't do that, Otito. I have a sniper right here. Mm -hmm. I dare you to try to take my queen. You're going to be putting yourself in what? Danger. 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 You're not allowed to do that. If this was a computer and you tried to do that, it wouldn't even allow it. <laughs> the king has to move out of danger. Queen takes h3. The king moves back. Knight comes to g4. Because remember, we want, we want to have um, extra attackers to attack the king. We want, At the, we want options. At the moment, I would love to go here. But there's a problem with going there. What's the problem if I went the there? King can take your the I king can take your The king can take the queen. Yeah. So I need help. And that's the reason why the knight decided to jump in to help the queen. Now, if white plays a dumb move, which he wouldn't, right? Because he already played enough dumb moves. But if he played a dumb move like this, now I'll go checkmate, game over, I win. Mm -hmm. So instead of allowing that to happen, white brings the bodyguard who is what? the knight to f3 to protect this square. So now if you go here, what's gonna happen? The knight take you. The knight will take you, right? So now, now black is going crazy. Oh my God, I just sacrificed my bishop and he's protecting everything. He has this great defense. Oh my God, what do I do? Black is like, nah, something is here. Something is here. Let's try that check again. Check, once again, you can't take me because of the sniper. The king moves over. And he's like, there's only one more pawn protecting that stupid king. So how about we get rid of that last pawn? Obviously, you can't take my bishop right now. Because I'm not going to take with my queen. I'm going to take with my knight. And that'll be what? Checkmate. Check you see that? That will be checkmate. So they can buy a foot. So, so <laughs> you're not going to move this. Hold on, let me get the rope. Let me get the rope. If you move where? This or here. Yeah, I forgot. You're putting yourself in danger, right? And you're in check. 
And you can't go here, you can't go here, you can't go here, you can't stay there. So that will be checkmate. So, black doesn't take, I'm sorry, white doesn't take the bishop. He tries a very fancy move. Watch this. He tries to sacrifice his own bishop to bring help into the game. I know you're like, what? How does that help? Well, he sacrifices bishop. So if the king takes, white can play check. When the king moves out of danger, he can slide over to protect his king. Oh, oh, that's so neat. Yes, yes. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a, a, a jumping pad. If you play Fortnite, you have a jumping pad that helps you get from one place to the other. Huh? Someone's calling. Oh, is it still recording? Yeah. Okay, no worries about it. So, it's so White tried to play that, that, that fancy move. After this move, Black doesn't even take it. He says, I don't even want your stupid bishop. I'm just going to slide over out of danger. The bishop tried to come back to attack the knight because he wants to kill the knight because the knight is really helping white, right, Black right now. Black says, too late. Check. You can't go here. You can't go here. The only way to get out of check is to block with the what piece? The um, rook. Not the rook. The knight has to block. And now after blocking with the knight, Black plays queen takes h2, checkmate. Oh. No way out of that. You can stop it now.